Ken Sirs here. Another shave video, and it's Sunday. So, I was thinking, you know, what type of shave shall I do today? And I've been reading the comments, and there's been several questions that have repeated themselves, and I thought, maybe I can get a lot of those questions answered today, and a lot of those requests answered today. And uh, the first request is, well, obviously, you know I'm a James Bond fan, and one of the latest, well, the latest James Bond movie, and uh, oh, a real good one from Daniel Craig, was Spectre. And with that movie came a collectible. A Gillette Mach 3 Spectre collectible. And if you don't know the origin of Spectre, let me take you back a second to 1963, and then up to 2015, and voila. Missiles are only the first step to prove our power. Our power? With your disregard for human life, you must be working for the East. East, West, just points of the compass, each as stupid as the other. I'm a member of Spectre. Spectre? Spectre. Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, extortion. The four great cornerstones of power, headed by the greatest brains in the world. Correction. Criminal brains. You're obviously crazy. Miss Sarah. Bond. James Bond. This organization, do you know what it's called? No. Spectre. Its name is Spectre. How does she know that? Because my father was part of it. Well, there you go. In 2015, Daniel Craig's Spectre came out. And Gillette released a limited edition Spectre Mach 3 Razor. And this is unopened. But someone, I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, and they said, come on, man, you got to try it just once. And uh, you're right. I've been wanting to try it. I've had it uh, on display in the man cave out in the garage. So uh, take out the knife here. Break the seal on this without cutting myself, hopefully. Here's what she looks like. That's what you get in the kit. It's pretty awesome. So let me open this up. Now I'm not gonna use the uh, Mach 3, whoops, set that down there. I'm not gonna use the soap in this one because uh, this is gonna bring me to part two of this video. So I don't use Mach 3 razors, but does that look a little different than what they normally look like? Nice razor. So I'll use this. Let me set this down here. Where in my uh, shirt my wife got me. Now, one of the other comments was, what do you take a bowl or do you take a scuttle with you when you travel? And you know, for the life of me, I thought I did a review on this. Uh, Doug Smythe uh, sent this to me. It's from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements back at Christmas, and I've taken it with me on a few trips. And what it is, it's a nice, I don't know if you can see that, plastic scuttle, so it won't break. You can drop this thing, it will not break. And uh, it works really good. So I'm going to add a little hot water into it right now. Perfect. And I'm going to use this today. And then, like I said, this, this question came in about three days ago. What's a good scuttle to bring traveling? And then Doug Smythe writes to me today asking me how I like the travel scuttle. So. Ironic. And another gent says, uh, I believe he was from Europe, and he says, you don't do a lot of shaves with shaving cream. You use a lot of soaps. And he says where he's at, the country he's at, he doesn't find the soap so often as he finds the shaving cream. So I'm gonna use some Nivea shave cream today. In fact, I will, uh, as we're talking, put a little into this bowl. There we go. And on the lines of the same question, they were saying, what travel brush do you use? 
And I use the Volfix. You've seen me use this before. It's a nice little travel brush. Comes in its own case. It's got its vent hole in there so you don't get mildewy after use. So let me put that in there. And I will use this today. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but uh, my skin has become dry. So uh, for aftershave today, I'm going to go to a tried and true favorite. You've seen me use this before, Sebum Gold. And this is a post shave serum, really helps the skin. And uh, I need it today. So I'm going to be using this today. This comes from France, I believe. Oh, no, aged and nano batched in Boston, Massachusetts. All right. Where the hell did I get France from? Uh, from Boston, Massachusetts. All right, post-shave serum, synthesized by nature. We're gonna be using this. Oh, I know what I was thinking of. I was thinking of that, uh, that shave soap that comes in like those collectible containers from France. I think of when I saw sebum. Yeah. Got me reminding of that. All right. Let me wet the face a bit. It was nice to chat with you at the tail end of Cincy Shave's uh, live shave yesterday. That was kind of cool. All right. I arrived late to the party, but at least I got a chance to uh, chat for a few minutes. And I missed Steve's shave today, the Suffolk shaver. I uh, apologize about that. Been out and about with a family. And I do, I do put this stuff kind of thick, don't I? Someone says you like your shave so real thick, don't you? And I do. And I will add a little more water to it. We can swill a little in. Swill a little in. There. Man. This Nivea is nice and thick. Now, I know I did a cartridge razor comparison, the Fusion, the other day. And I'm not going to start doing all cartridge razor comparisons, but uh, somebody asked, man, that doggone eye of mine is still sore as hell. Effing styes. All right. Now I hope this performs a little better, that brand new blade, than it did with that Fusion. Let me tell you. But a lot of you say you like the Mach 3. And I can tell you right now it performs way better. And actually my son uses this Mach 3. It's a real nice handle. Mark Bagwell sent me this and my son uses it because I don't use cartridge razors too often. Thank you, Mark. And as many of you said, you don't need to do two or three passes with a cartridge razor. So you take the number of blades, multiply it by the number of passes, and that's what you're getting. I wasn't gonna open this Spectre razor, but I often wondered what it would look like and what it would feel like, and I tell you it's very good. So I'll probably use it this one time put it back in the box and put it back on display. I'm gonna have another barbecue tonight. Ran out of propane. Gotta go fill up a tank or two. I've got three tanks, all three ran out. Genius, Ken. Genius. Gillette. Thumbs up for the Mach 3. And when the next James Bond movie comes out, Gillette, if anybody from Gillette is watching, please consider another collectible. Possibly a throwback collectible. One of your uh, DE razors, twist open for the gents in Europe who still use these primarily. And for me and all of our friends in the United States, and uh, North America, South America that use that uh, DE blade, DE razor. I don't think you've come out with a real nice stainless steel DE 
razor in quite a while and it would be nice to have one of those it can't hurt do you guys agree That Nivea shave cream has moisturizer in it too because it moistened my skin very well. Very well. All right. Sebum gold. Yeah, like I said, aged and batched in Boston, Massachusetts. Organic jojoba oil, virgin red raspberry seed oil, squalane oil from olives, virgin passion fruit seed oil, virgin organic argan oil, anti-aging aromatherapy EO blend fragrance. All right, guys. Put a little bit on the palm of your hand. It's definitely an oil. Oh, there we go. It's gonna help. It smells good. It'll help my dry skin. It's been a little windy. I was out in Hemet. Hemet uh, in the Inland Empire yesterday. It was about 95 degrees. A little windy. I was sitting outside for a while. Oh, very good. And got a chapped face, a little bit of a windburn. All right, we'll put that back up there. Oh, someone was asking what that was too. Spanish leather, true fit and hail. Somebody, you guys can actually see a lot of this back there. Uh, you must be watching this on a television because if I'm watching it on my iPhone, I can't see what all those things are. Whew. All right, everybody. Weekend's not over yet. It's only at uh, three in the afternoon. So uh, enjoy and Monday tomorrow. All right, everyone. Until next time, it's Ken Sir saying thank you for watching and thank you for your subscriptions. We'll see you next time.